Hello party people. I'm at Costco right now. Grocery shopping used to be fun. Life used to be fun. <laughs> but my stress level is like at a 10. It's like maxed out, you know. To add on top of that, I'm Meredith, I, you know, I have to leave right home. So we're going to venture into Costco, see what they have. It's been a while since I've been out. So um, this is the first time actually I've been here. There is no line. I don't see a line. Also, I've been seeing people posting pictures from like different Costco's, not this one specifically, but um, of their replenishing stock, like paper products. Most importantly, I know toilet paper was like a really big thing for a while. Um, I don't like specifically need toilet paper. I think we'll be okay without it for a little bit. I mean, but then I think like, should I pick some up just to have some on stock that I don't want to take away from others? Do you know what I mean? I probably won't get any. If it's even in stock, I don't know. But I'm gonna show you around the store, see what's out, see what's in, hopefully. By now, everything is pretty much uh, restocked. So I've got hair tie, I've got my mask. Guys, this is so weird, right? Like everyone's wearing a mask. Oh, nope, that guy isn't. Neither are they. Scratch that, not everyone is wearing a mask. <laughs> Hold on. He's not either, neither is she. They are, he is. I'd say it's about 50-50 with the mask situation. We'll see, maybe they took it off when they got outside. Well, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, shall we? Okay, so let's go into Costco. It's a different experience, you know? Okay, currently this is what is out of stock. I don't see, to oh, toilet paper still, okay. And they are not accepting returns on these items. From what I'm seeing so far, like 50-50 people have masks on, but I've never seen fruit at the front of the store. They're still trying to push products. Look at the snuggle me blanket. All right, guys, keep going. Uh, they also have a cooler at the front of the store. I'm interested, like what is in this that is essential? Oh, of course, the crema lime right there, that dressing <laughs> and fajita strips because Cinco de Mayo. I honestly thought like chicken would be back there, but since we're driving by, Maybe take a little pit stop to look at these summer dresses. Cute. I feel like the produce section is just as stocked as ever. It looks like there's less, but I think it's because they have some stuff up front, you know? But it looks pretty full. It's very eerie in here. Um, I had to wait to go into the fresh produce section until a couple people cleared out because, you know, social distancing and all that. Also, the meat section still looks like it's in full swing over here. We got a lot of meat going on, a lot of red meat. Behold, there is chicken and it is not organic. It is normal chicken breast, skinless, boneless, but they are limiting it. One unit per person. I would not say this is a full supply, but they definitely have more than they normally do. Drumsticks. Oh, they even have thighs. Ooh, how I've missed the. Oh wait, that's bone in. I've missed the boneless, here it is. Oh my gosh, they have it. My day is good. They also have this, which I've never seen before. Uh, they're still doing the rotisserie chicken, but they have this whole chicken, $3.99? What in the world? Uh, and they are still selling rotisserie chickens for five bucks. Normally, this whole section is filled with chicken along with this section, but they have filled it with some treats, macaroons, and even some Easter cakes. I imagine they usually sell out of these. It is past Easter. <laughs> They're definitely gearing up for Cinco de Mayo. They have this chicken risotto. That's definitely not for Cinco de Mayo, but <laughs> I'm passing by and I saw it. Pork tamales for $13. I like this sauerkraut. I might pick some up. And then some de leche. Triple cream, all right. Picking up some carnitas and I saw this double pack of salsa, $6.59, it seems interesting. They still have their pre-made food out. This is something I have not seen before. It's teriyaki stir fry with rotisserie chicken. That's interesting and then they also have the street tacos still. Mexican style street corn. It's not on my shopping list, but it looks good. I'm just walking to the egg section and they have Thai style coconut chicken. $14. That sounds really good. Also not on my grocery list. We're gonna keep on moving, 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 moving. Ooh, lamb shanks. Oh, they have eggs, organic eggs, and already hard-boiled 
They are limiting two per membership and I also see a five dozen pack of eggs. I've never seen this before, $8. They're also limiting these two per person. Also, if you're curious, they have a bunch of milk still. It's not returnable. Who returns milk? I don't see a limit sign, but I do see a sign that says you cannot return it. <laughs> okay. I see the water is back in stock. Oh, hold on. What's over here? Kleenex. Are those tissues? I think they're just plain tissues, but definitely the water. Oh, look at that. Water, water for days, months, years even. What's missing are the paper products that are usually here. And if you've noticed, well, you probably haven't because I haven't shown you. They have left extra space in the aisles so people can social distance properly. But yeah, I don't see any paper products, not even paper towels or, oh wait, nope. They usually have like the industrial size stuff, but I don't even see that. Ooh, smart water though. Jennifer Aniston drinks it. Maybe I should. I think the alcohol looks pretty much stocked, <laughs> if you're wondering. What I'm more interested in is the dairy. They have all butters here. Yogurt I saw, half and half. Yeah, everything looks pretty good here, guys. How about your Costco? You let me know what you guys have been seeing around town. So the breads, uh, I think the tortillas are normally there. The bread aisle is looking a little scant. I, I can't find the bread that I usually purchase, um, but there's definitely bread available. So, oh, there it is. Uh, that's the one I usually buy. They're moving a lot of stuff around, which I don't know how much these are, but the lemon bites. Oh, you guys, I had these last year. Someone stopped me. Okay, and then the crepes are all the way up here, as well as the pancakes, but okay. And again, a lot, a lot of chicken. Well, a couple empty boxes, but... <laughs> Plenty chicken to go around. I don't see a limit on any of it. And I've actually really enjoyed this frozen chicken, so I, I'm gonna keep buying it. Oh my word, this is also something I've never seen before. Ground beef in the little tubes. I don't know what it's called. Five one pound packages for $18.49, so that's $3.69 a pound. Wowie, powie. That's really cool, I've been waiting for them to do this. Also don't need ground beef right now, but it's awesome to know that it's available. Hopefully it's here next time I need it. <laughs> I keep seeing people with paper towels. You see paper towels? Oh, that's why they're right there. Right there. I don't know why they moved it, but it's right up here, all the paper towels. And behind me, do you see that? Gorgeousness, $3.59.99. Oh, you guys, they're baking cookies again. Oh, why do I want all the chocolate? Because I smell it everywhere. It's like pumping through the vents. They still have pancake mix. Actually, I think that was out last time. So they have that, still the paleo, and the buttermilk. Guys, last time I was here, they had a whole a whole section of it, and now they just have this much. I'm debating buying it because I know once it sells out, who knows when it's gonna be back again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm buying it. I will not regret not buying it. <laughs> Uh, they have sugar, still is being limited, one total cell per unit. They have flour, bread flour, normal flour, almond flour, and then they have some brown sugar and powdered sugar over here, which is also being limited. Oh, and then over here too, bunch of sugars. I mean, they're fully stocked. It's like business as usual, except for the store is like really creepy, you know? They're sticking all the hot items up front. These are flushable wipes which really aren't supposed to be flushed. Is that, is that the consensus? And they have rice even back in stock, a ton of it, $18. You cannot return it, but they have all the rices, yellow, light brown, uh, what kind is this? Oh, jasmine rice. I just want normal white rice, but Lord almighty, I do not have space to store that much. I thought they would have a smaller bag. Uh, okay, returns, no returns on these items. They also have spam back in stock. I know that was gone for a while. I wonder what everyone's gonna do with all their spam. Even the peanut butter is back in stock, almond butter. Ooh, everything looks so good and I'm hungry. Coming up on the vitamins, I'm looking for vitamin C. I know that was a rare commodity for a while. I don't see it unless it's like at the top of the aisle like they do. Oh, wait, is it there? No, I see calcium, vitamin E. Oh man. They also have these uh, 
red lines on the ground to mark six feet apart so everyone pushes their carts six feet apart. They also have glass right in the middle to partition the customer from the cashier and they clean it off every time. And I will say they've been cleaning a ton. Oh my gosh, okay, let me sanitize everything. Okay, I've gotta say, they're doing a really great job of keeping everything clean. At one point, I literally thought someone was just following me around cleaning after me. I didn't touch anything aside from what I was putting in my cart, but every time I would look you know, behind me or in front of me, there was someone cleaning something. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just got in and out as fast as I could, and I will share a haul with you when I get home. But share with me your experience going out. H how is it? Is it like eerie and weird? Because that's how I feel. I'm like, Ugh, it's so awkward and just different. L life is different right now. Uh, anyway, I know that was a different kind of shop with me, obviously, different times. Uh, so, okay, I've got to go, Meredith little baby is waiting for me. All right guys, I'm home now. I went to Costco, you guys saw that. I also stopped into Publix. And one thing I didn't mention is, um, it seems warmer in the stores. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just getting hotter in Florida. Two, oh, at Publix, the mask situation was far less. I would say like 40% of people were wearing masks at Publix as compared to like around 70. I mean, I didn't sit there and count, but just making observations, you know? Oh, and also the employees. Hardly any employees at Publix were wearing masks. And I'd say about 50-50 at Costco, maybe less, maybe 40% of the employees at Costco. Okay, getting that out of the way, I'm gonna share both hauls with you, all of them. I, again, we're self-isolating, continuing to do that, continuing to follow the rules, which I think um, the mask situation, I know most states have, like it's the law that you have to wear a mask when you go out. Apparently on Thursday, it's not yet Thursday, so I guess very soon that will be the rule here where you will not be allowed to go out without a mask. How long is that rule going to be into effect? I don't know because right now our girls' school as it stands goes back on May 1st uh, unless they change it. I mean, they have plenty of time to change it, a couple weeks here. So I feel like there was something else I wanted to share with you, but I forgot, so let's just get into the haul. I've got Costco over here and then I have Publix over here. I needed to go to Publix. I was in there very quickly, but we needed milk. So there's that. And then a bunch of little things. Oh my gosh, okay, starting with Costco, but I had to share this with you and then I'm gonna throw it in my freezer really quickly. These, so they're like the frozen cookie dough balls, but they also have the fudge brownies in them. And this is like my special treat. <laughs> they're so expensive. I do not suggest buying them. It's ridiculous, it's like $5 for this piece of crap. I was really intrigued by the brownies, so that's what got me. I'm here to tell you, don't buy them literally tastes like a little debbie brownie so buy a box of little debbies for like half the cost and you'll probably get like a million more okay this is publix too it's the only thing that's Publix on this side i just got some hoagie rolls for um they did not have a bigger bag of them and i even asked like hey can i have a bigger bag I, apparently it wasn't available i also got some farmhouse oatmeal bread oh that is one thing i also got some sauerkraut i don't know i feel like very often we, we think, oh, where's, we should get some sauerkraut. Do we have any sauerkraut? And I'm always like, no, we don't have any. So this will be nice to have around. Um, everyone in our house likes this. Everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone. Wentworth, maybe, not sure. I think he does though. Uh, raspberries, looks like they got into them. Of course we wash them and holy crap guys, the washing process during this time in our lives, I don't even wanna talk about it. It's so tedious and annoying, but also pretty necessary. I'm sure we can agree on that. I got two bundles of bananas. They did not have any green ones, but it's the most bananas that I've seen, well, compared to the last time I was out, which was like two and a half weeks ago. Also got some green beans, kind of kicking myself, thinking, wow, I should have gotten three bags. Also didn't buy any frozen vegetables. I still have a bag of frozen broccoli outside, but I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Kim, you should have just bought more. Okay, sweet potatoes over here, and then the little creamy potatoes up there. We love potatoes as a starch, and also I wasn't sure if Publix would have any rice, so I'm loading up on that as our only starch. I also got the five dozen pack of eggs right there. We are, I think we have like I don't know, less than a dozen eggs left, so I was happy to see some eggs, even though um, Publix 
I don't think has ever gone out of stock on them every time I've like asked around and last time I went to Target and they had an abundance of eggs so I knew I would find some around but five getting five dozen at once is nice uh, because we will go through them. Boom Chicka Pop. Um, Wentworth got a little baggy from his aunt. She dropped off like a care package. It was so sweet of her for Easter and uh, so Wentworth was eating through and he like loved them and I thought I used to buy this all the time because it's dairy free Which we loved not easy to find in like, uh, you know the processed food situation So I thought Meh, I'll buy it and it's what is that 70 calories per serving? Oh, you guys who eats per serving these days? I eat like five servings of whatever at once. <laughs> I also got some asparagus. Oh, I did meal plan Did I say that? Oh, you guys who am I meal planning and all this? I mean, I've got the time to do it kind of not really four kids keeps me so busy Do you have extra time on your hands because I feel like I do not but I did meal plan. I bought some recipe books. Pretty excited about that nonsense in my life. So asparagus. I needed some of this. My kids aren't crazy about asparagus, so I don't buy it that often. So there's that. But Costco had it, so I said, why not? Uh, watermelon. Got some of this. Also got a package of strawberries. My kids just eat the snaws out of this stuff. Oh, pineapple too. There was one thing that my kids wanted that I did not get that I forgot about, and it was buffalo chips. Sorry. I forgot to put it on my list. Um, and then avocados right here, which uh, my avocado trees, guys, I don't want to talk about it. It's a sad, sad story. Well, let's talk about it. We hired a gardener to help us around with our landscaping. Listen, our, our yard is like the worst. It's so sad. It makes my stomach ache <laughs> thinking about how sad our yard is. But I had like five star fruit trees that were thriving. I had avocado trees. I had mango trees out there for whatever reason they were just in pots for whatever reason the person picked them up out of the pots and moved them and uprooted them without oh my gosh you guys i don't uh the amount of frustration i feel is so real half of them died and the other half are struggling to survive <laughs> i also got some brussels sprouts right there gotta love brussels sprouts and then oh my gosh i've been loving chicken thighs who knew? Always loved the chicken thighs. However, I recently discovered the frozen section at Costco because I always buy the fresh chicken and then, you know, freeze it anyway. So what's the difference? I'm freezing it and this is already frozen and it's so good and it's cheaper per pound. So I think this is what I'm gonna be doing from now on, buying the um, frozen bags. Anyway, I've really been enjoying it. So I, <laughs> I thought I would share that with you. They also had the ground beef, which you saw. Totally surprised me. Um, for lunches, this is just like an easy lunch, middle of the day, chaos. Mom, I'm hungry, oh crap. So I just throw this in the oven. Crispy chicken strips, I got two bags of those. Also got some potato chips. Oh my gosh, you guys. The quarantine 15 is real. I'm trying to make it not real, but also still buying frozen cookie dough and brownies and potato chips. <laughs> You gotta live your life. You gotta be happy, right? Also baking every five seconds I feel like which Somebody stop me, you know, no one can stop me. That's why I'm gaining the quarantine 15 Hashtag no regrets. Also got some bell peppers uh, uh, Oh again, I meal planned. Uh, did I tell you my meals? I'm making like a pesto chicken uh, Thing with that. I don't know the names of stuff and then I'm making like a Some Thai soup with this. Maybe I'll share oh, another week of meals with you like what's for dinner do you guys enjoy those i know i i think i just posted one if things go as planned i also got some ham i plan to make like bean and ham soup so i was excited to find this seven dollars how many pounds is in here 2.72 pounds so it's 2.59 a pound crazy deal for some ham and then oh i showed the pineapple with you this oh gosh you guys i had made some pork recipes this past week or two weeks and they're delicious and you can't beat the price of these tenderloins you get four of them this one was ten dollars four tenderloins for ten bucks what a dollar 89 a pound i mean stop it right now and then i plan on making mississippi what is it called mississippi mud roast is what my sister-in-law called it i text her and i said you're so good at meal planning what are your family's favorite meals so she texted me a bunch of her family's favorite meals and mississippi mud roast was one of them and i used to make it all the time with chicken or i've never made it with a roast before but i have made it with chicken and oh gosh it's delicious so i'll share that with you it's super simple i have shared it with you in the past but i'll share it with you again because it's that good the price of this is not that great i mean it is good for what it is it's chuck roast 
$4.09 a pound. I got 5.8 pounds. It was 24 bucks. It's a lot of red meat. A lot of red meat right there. Oh my gosh, speaking of red meat, well, it's pork. It's the other white meat. Carnitas! I bought this last time we were out. Holy cow, you guys. My family gobbled this stuff up and I made a salad with it. I don't think I shared that meal with you, but my kids wrapped it in tortillas with some cheese and um, like made chimichangas on the, what is that thing called? GFG, the George Foreman. They made them that way. I just made a salad and threw the pork on top. Holy cow, was it delicious. You know what else is delicious? These heavenly hunks. I almost didn't buy them. And then I thought, Kim, come on, we're in quarantine. Live your life. Live it right. And then I got this plant. I don't know what I was thinking. I was literally shopping so fast and I thought, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I get it in the car. I almost bought some lavender, but I have some seeds of lavender, hopefully trying to grow outside. Nothing has sprouted yet. Um, and then there, we have this tree that's basically dying. So I thought, it's just a little tree. And I thought, well, maybe we can take that tree out and replace it with this because I'm pretty sure this is really hard to kill. So we'll, we'll see. I almost bought like three of them and then I thought, calm down. It was 10 bucks. How can you say no? $10 for a plant? Also, I want to buy, well over here, I want to like go to Lowe's. Also, like obviously I'm not going to go to Lowe's, but buy a bunch of these little pots. I want succulents, more of them around my house. More succulents, you know? Buttermilk, stinking pancake mix. I almost didn't buy this. You guys know my dilemma, but I know how Costco is and they probably won't be restocking this item, so I grabbed it while it's hot. You know what I mean? And who doesn't love a good pancake mix? Also got some seaweed for the gals. Well, and everyone. Okay, and then over here, here's my, cost, my uh, Publix haul. I got some yogurt. Uh, my kids have really been enjoying this and I'm enjoying that it is, wait, what does triple zero mean? I just know it has zero added sugar. Oh my gosh, even that's a lie. Oh no, okay, that's not a lie. Zero added sugar, but it still has five grams of sugar. I don't know what the triple zero means. Maybe if I read some words. Oh, here it is. Zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, zero fat, fantastic. What did they put in it to make it taste so good? <laughs> Definitely some artificial stuff, I'm guessing. Um, okay, got some pasta right there. We're pretty, we don't have any pasta left, so that's why I just got a couple. Oh no, is this box ripped? Man, well, and then I figured, Oh, I don't know what I was just about to say, but I didn't want to go overboard on the pasta. We don't eat too much of it, but we do go through rice, which I was happy to see. And then the rice aisle was pretty sparse. I was thinking, oh my gosh, what kind of rice do I normally buy? I have no idea. I think I don't get long grain rice. I usually get regular grain, <laughs> short grain. I don't remember. Parmesan is also on my list for a meal. Oh no, it's a side dish. It's a corn side dish. I don't know how it's gonna be. We'll find out together. And then pepperoncinis for the mud roast, the, you know, whatever that thing's called, Mississippi mud roast. The beans for the ham and bean soup. Also got a lot of milk. I'm not even gonna lie, like I normally buy double this milk whenever I buy milk. How many times can I say milk? But uh, because it doesn't expire, like this expires June 15th. You know what I mean? So. I normally stock up on it so I don't have to worry about it for a while, but I just got a relatively medium size amount of milk. Also got some rice milks right there. Uh, and we like sweetened vanilla and Costco does not have sweetened vanilla milk, almond milk. They have just vanilla unsweetened and Alex apparently doesn't like that. Also got more strawberries from Publix because these honestly looked a lot better and my kids go through strawberries like they're going out of style. I also got two bags of green apples. They also eat the snaws out of that. Mini chocolate chips. Oh, you guys know I meal planned. I also dessert planned. <laughs> I'm mixing things up around here. Friday nights, we're getting crazy. I saw some recipes for different kinds of brownies. One was like an almond joy brownie. One was well, I forgot already, but I have it written down. I actually printed them out. So I know I needed coconut flakes, sweetened coconut flakes, which I don't have. So that'll be a nice treat. And then mini chocolate chips. Uh-oh, something fell. Oh my gosh, I didn't even go through all of this with you. I got some bacon. <laughs> something fell, I don't know what. Oh, the bag of chips. And then I got pizza snacks. Don't ask me, guys. My kids are influencing me and they were like, get this, get it. And I was like, you guys need to relax. Okay, apparently kids don't gain the quarantine 15. It's just the parents. <laughs> so what was I talking about? Oh, semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. I don't remember what I needed these for, 
but um, it'll come to me maybe when I'm when I'm making it. It'll I'll be like, oh, do I have mini ones? And I'll be thankful I bought them. Got some corn, frozen corn, also some corn bread. Oh, doesn't that just look delicious? Something I was surprised about. They were out of like the cornbread mixes. What? Like the little ones? I, I mean, they had a few left way back in the bottom of the shelf. No one was even like bringing them to the front. <laughs> like, the, you know how the employees are supposed to block. What is that? What is it called when you work at a grocery store and you bring everything to the front? I think it's called blocking. Bricking? It's called something like that. Anyway, uh, I went with this instead because, ooh, again, it's the Crusties brand. Everyone loves Crusties. Actually, the cornbread in a box like this, I have found tastes much better than that little Jiffy box. So try it out sometime. I got some gravy for the Mississippi roast. It's basically the only dinner that I'm sharing with you right here, mostly because I can't remember anything else. <laughs> uh, ranch seasoning, again, you guessed it, Mississippi roast. I think I also need this for the um, side dish as well. Ooh, maybe I'll make it together because then it'll be like combining flavors. Oh, look at me planning with you. I also got some cornstarch. Apparently this is a hot commodity. It was like off the shelves. The shelves were empty with, of cornstarch. This is the only thing that was left. And I am planning on making some Play-Doh. Apparently, so is everyone else. <laughs> what else are you doing with cornstarch for real? Uh, but I've been seeing this recipe floating around. I think it's one cup of cornstarch and then half a cup of conditioner or lotion and it makes some pretty gnarly play-doh so did i say i made play-doh is that what i said i hope that's what i said i can't remember and then cocoa powder i'm out of this really wanted to make date balls the other day like a laura bar kind of date ball i'm trying to recreate the pecan pie laura bar oh my gosh somebody because i can't find them in store or online well i can find them in one store but i don't want to go to that one store just for the pecan pie bars you know what i mean i don't want to spread my germs I don't want to risk catching germs so i'm i'm going to recreate them myself and they're going to be delicious but i needed some cocoa because i used the last of it i think I cooked with you and used the last of it. I don't remember what we cooked, but I'm sure it was delicious. Also needed sweetened condensed milk. Oh my gosh. My husband used to pour this over ice cream when I first met him before he found out he was allergic to dairy. <laughs> what was I saying? Anyway, that's what he used to do with it. I need it for the rest the um, Almond Joy stuff that we're making. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. And then sour cream. I don't remember what this recipe is for, but I'm sure it's good. This is for the Thai chicken, the diced tomatoes, and then some chicken broth. I think I'm making chicken and dumplings. And then, oh, I think I decided to make green bean casserole. I think that's what this is for. It's without a can of cream of soup. Did, did that make sense? It's without a can of cream of soup. It doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it really does. And then, uh, oh, this is it, just onions. And plus my kids eat these as snacks and they were buying get one free. So I said, booyah, put it in my car. Holy cow, can you believe we went through all of that? Are you excited? Are you still here? Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> uh, did I give you any meal inspiration ideas? I don't know. But if you stick around, I will give you some meal inspiration ideas in my what's for dinner video if I film one slash watch the last one I uploaded because I'm editing it right now. Pretty good meals, not gonna lie, they're pretty good. All right, now who wants to come over and help me put this stuff away? I'm hungry too, what time is it? Oh, it's not, not nearly dinner time. Okay, I guess it's time to put this stuff away. I'm probably, what's probably going to happen is I'm gonna sit on the couch and eat some potato chips because the process of disinfecting everything, I'm just not, interested in it at this moment in time. Do you feel me? Okay, thanks for hanging out and watching. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!